We got a look at the extremely disturbing first trailer of Martha is Dead. The psychological thriller is set in the midst of the Second World War in the heart of Tuscany in Italy. As war rages around, the body of a woman is found next to a lake where she has been violated and drowned. And her twin sister finds herself face to face with the atrocity. She'll have to try to understand what's happened and find out who is responsible for the terrible crime. With this kind of trailer, we can expect a particularly anguishing experience that's extremely dark and violent. According to Wired Productions, Martha is Dead resolves around the subject of loss and looks at social relations during a particularly dark period of our world's history. The game is developed under Unreal Engine 4 and its developers are hoping to blur the boundaries between video games and reality with extremely realistic graphics and visuals. Martha is Dead is expected out on PC on the 24th of February in 2022. A couple madly in love who would often stroll by a lake. But one day, in a fit of jealousy, the man drowned the young woman. How can love also be so bad? This is something you will learn with age, Moffat. The man confessed. So he was hanged in the middle of the very same lake where he had killed his beloved. They searched everywhere, but the girl's body was never found. Since then, the spirit of the girl, known as the White Lady, wanders restlessly in search of relief from her eternal suffering. Only the life of another young woman and give the lady a moment of peace. That's always terrible to hear. I'll never get used to it. <sighs> you never get used to that kind of pain, my sparrow. But those in great pain can attempt to evoke the lady through a dark ritual and magic of the tarot. As the lady knows their suffering all too well, she could show them pity. What would you do if your sister called you in the middle of the night? Even though she disappeared 13 years ago. In this ambitious horror game, you play Patrick, who is addicted to drugs and alcohol and has been living as a recluse for years. After the death of your parents, your sister was the only person you had left, but she disappeared 13 years ago. One night, the phone rings and it's her. She says she'll be there in a few days. After that, everything turns nightmarish. You'll have to battle your traumas, to survive attacks from hostile creatures, and manage to fight off what's destroying you from the inside. Is it still your sister that is causing all of this? It looks like you'll be able to gather a variety of objects, look through different doors, and probably most importantly in this game, run. The first look at this gameplay made our blood run cold and the atmosphere and sound effects were incredible. Paranoid doesn't yet have a release date. Patrick? You were right. Everything is connected. Don't trust anyone. They're watching you too. You know who. You've always known. Have you ever seen anything as terrifying as this game? Even hell seems friendly compared to this horror FPS developed by just four people. Dismembering bodies has never seemed so real. The same can be said for the animations, which are interactive and immersive. The first look plunges you into a dark and brutal universe in which your character finds themselves facing the aftermath of a terrible car accident. We don't know yet exactly who or what these creatures are. They look a lot like zombies, but some of them can dismember themselves and reveal a body that's even more revolting than the first. This experience revolves around action and the experience of horror more than a central story. Developers stated their goal in this game. We will provide you with an easy to understand story and shocking discoveries. Players should prepare themselves for a truly horrific experience. 
3 is still in development and doesn't yet have an official release date. Will you make it off this zombie-infested island alive? World War II has just ended, but your plane has gone down on a German island. The place was a secret until now, and it turns out to be a zombie-infested nightmare. With Strong Left for Dead and Call of Duty vibes, Project Z immerses you in an intense and brutal experience. In the game's main mode, surviving one zombie wave follows on another, and your goal is simply to resist as long as possible. Killing zombies will earn you money that you can spend on weapons, on ammo, and on accessories. Machines scattered throughout the four corners of the map will allow you to boost your soldier. They might want your death at all costs, but some zombies will earn you special items like point multipliers or instant kills. Those will give you a bit of breathing room. That is, if you can get them. You'll have to select your soldier before each round. Each comes with their own abilities and skills, and it's up to you to find synergy with the rest of your group. Project 2 is still in development. Our 3D artist Yam was working on stuff like retexturing the zombies and adding gore parts to it. But please keep in mind that the zombies we are showing right now are placeholders, but we wanted to give the zombies a much better and more proper look. So the zombies will change as soon as we find a character artist. Get ready for some seriously bad nightmares. Carnival Hunt is a first person survival game that pits a player in the role of a carnival monster against other players who play as mechanical rabbits. Obviously, the goal of the rabbits is to survive and escape, but that won't be easy since their batteries don't last very long and have to be recharged by winding a key. That means you definitely don't want to find yourself alone or risk not being able to move. You can also try to trick the monster by playing dead, but that's not always a good idea. The monster can eventually guess whether a rabbit is truly dead or just faking, but it will cost him some precious time. As for the monster, your goal is to steal the rabbit's energy in order to be able to continue hunting longer. That means you'll have to be pretty clever and show absolutely no mercy if you want to outlast the others. The game is being developed by Beer Night Studio and doesn't have an official release date yet.